guys, and welcome to another episode of Woke by Accident Podcast. It is a weekly chat about socially conscious topics impacting the culture. On this episode, we are joined by Simbaza, host and creator of the Simbaza Podcast. It's never just hair. You know, even the fact that I cover my hair, it holds so much significance as I'm honoring my crown underneath. You know, I cover it because it is beauty and there's more reasons, but you know, society would have you believe that you have to wear um, your hair a certain way for it to be deemed acceptable. But I'm here to say whether I choose to wear my hair in Afro style, goddess locks, bantu knots, or whether I choose to cover my hair, my hair, my business. And this event is all about minding our business and taking our power back and loving on ourselves. So, so I love that I get to do my part to create justice awareness around the beauty of our natural hair. Awesome. I think I feel a mic drop right there. Okay. Ooh, <laughs> Look, I say. Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Woke by Accident Podcast, a weekly chat about socially conscious topics impacting the culture. We are happy to have one of our most favorite co-hosts today, Simbaza, host and creator of the Simbaza Podcast. He is a three-time nominee for the Best African Diaspora Podcast by the APVA, and he is from the Republic of Kenya in East Africa. He has been a presenter at the Afro's Audio Podcast Festival discussing Pan-Africanism, and he will be a ambassador and presenter at the 2024 Afro's and Audio Podcast Festival. Hey, Simbaza. Hey, what's up, Jen? How you doing today? Doing good, thanks. I am ready for today's show. What you got for us today? So we're glad to bring this episode to you guys. And again, we appreciate you guys tuning in, checking into the content. Uh, definitely want to embrace natural hair today and celebrate Black beauty and culture. So we have a special guest who is an entrepreneur. And shout out to the chat. We have a few comments already. You want to address those? Yeah. Um, right now we have the healing session, Heal and Empower. And they're in this thing. Hey, welcome to the show. And um, everyone else who's tuning in, welcome, welcome, <laughs> welcome. Feel free, ask questions, and we'll give you answers. Um, For sure. Absolutely. Okay, so this episode is definitely for you if you are a natural hair enthusiast and the broader natural hair community. And this episode is for you if you're interested in Black-owned businesses, Black culture, and entrepreneurship. So, um, and then another uh, item that will this episode will bring to you is about artists and creators who pre appreciate handcrafted and unique products. So, really um, excited. Oh, we already have questions about it, so <laughs> we're geeked and excited. So, um, any thoughts before we introduce our guests, Simbaza? I think from the pre- talk that we had before um the our conversation is going to be really fun um really Definitely. happy our guest because she's very bubbly and lively for sure and you know you guys may say oh we're talking about natural hair are those bundles that jen's wearing don't let the bundles fool you i have natural okay <laughs> up under the bundles okay it is a protective style so Okay, we team natural up in here, all right? <laughs> I know you want to crack up. <laughs> You're so goofy. Okay, so let's get into introducing our wonderful guests. So again, welcome back to Woke by Accident and Simba's the podcast collaboration. So today we have a truly inspiring guest joining us. She is a visionary entrepreneur and the creative force behind Designs by Deej, a Black-owned accessories and stationery brand known for its handcrafted and uniquely designed products. And this guest is also the curator of the third annual Curls and Combo Natural Hair Summit, a virtual event dedicated to celebrating Black beauty, melanin, natural hair, Black women, and Black culture. As an artist, naturalista, and natural hair enthusiast, our guest, our special guest, has made a significant impact in the natural hair community, and her work has been featured in notable publications like BuzzFeed, Pretty Girls Hustle. So today's episode will dive into her journey as an entrepreneur and explore the vision behind Curls and Combo, this excellent and fabulous natural hair summit. 
and discuss the importance of embracing and celebrating black beauty in all its forms. So whether you're a natural hair enthusiast or someone who appreciates the artistry and culture of black businesses, this conversation is one you don't want to miss. So with that, we will bring our good friend, Miss Khadija. Hey, hey guys. Introduction, Ben. Thank you. You just want to go. <laughs> yes, welcome, welcome. So Thank we you. are um, happy to talk about this fabulous conference. Mm -hmm. And Sabaza is going to go ahead and get started. Oh, okay. Now, Jen has already said you're a naturalista um, artist. Uh, we just heard that you're a poet and also a singer. We're not going to make you sing or say any poems today, <laughs> but we'd like to share a little bit about yourself and the inspiration behind you creating Curls and Convo Natural Summit. Absolutely. So, um, you all know my name is Khadija. I am the CEO. I say CEO, but a CEO of my brand called Design by D. It's your one stop shop for unique items that celebrate Black hair, Black women, and Black culture. And um, I create original statement pieces for the culture, essentially, uh, the artist's original art that focuses on bringing the most beautiful parts of who we are to life. And um, through my art, you'll notice that I place a specific emphasis on our natural hair. Um, so Design by Beach is a full service gift and stationary brand to empower us through our journey. And I see it all the time when my customers purchase my products, especially my umbrellas, which are my biggest seller. Everybody loves the umbrellas, but um, my customers are always like, it did two drips and I couldn't wait to whip out my umbrella. And that's when I began to realize that it's no longer just a product for them. It's more so a statement piece. Um, it's because of the feeling that they feel when they carry my product. Um, it makes them feel proud. My statement pieces literally make them feel empowered to be a naturalista and to wear their natural hair loud and proud. Um, it makes them even more proud to be a melanated woman, and that's always the goal. And one thing about me, I've never been complacent to just be a product-based business. You know, uh, I, I could sell my pieces and go on about my merry life and just be satisfied with that. But I feel like there was more to my story and to what I had to offer the natural hair community and uh, the community abroad. Because yes, while art has a powerful way of, make, of moving society forward, our voices speaking up and speaking out and working to change the trajectory of how natural hair is perceived has equal significance and impact. So the Girls and Combo Natural Hair Summit is a direct byproduct of my brand, Designed by Deej. And uh, it's a direct extension of the feeling of empowerment that people feel when they come across Designed by Deej. So I give this platform, the Girls and Combo Natural Hair Summit, to be seen and for our voices to be heard. And I feel like I'm walking in my truest purpose right now. Well, one of them, because I have a few, but yeah, as you mentioned. <laughs> oh, nice, nice, nice. Thank you. Jen? Uh, do you have a question on? Uh... I do, I do, and that's fabulous. Um, so, looking at the broader cultural impact of the natural hair movement, which you just shared about, please share why affirming its existence and celebrating it for Black women is so important to you. Well, um, you know, it's no secret that society tries to tirelessly condition Black women into not loving who we are and stepping into our true selves. And we have been denied love and respect for centuries. So I use the medium of digital art to illustrate the beauty, strength and strides to uplift black women and our black girls so that they can feel empowered when they carry my products or when they, when they bring my pieces into their sacred spaces. So I look at it like I'm giving, I'm giving you all the needed vibes for the culture. And so I aim to create pieces that center Black joy and that reflect some of our shared experiences and that encapsulates our shared emotions and feelings. But we can all be so different. Like we can be total strangers. We can come from all different walks of life, different backgrounds, different faiths. But there's this unexplainable common thread that just connects us and unites us as a culture because of the beautiful layered complexity of our melanin skin. Our story is so incredibly entrenched in rich culture. And that's gone uncelebrated for far too long. Um, and you know, like we all know the blemishes are glorified by society 10 times faster than our strides and our stories of greatness and legacy. So representation matters, diversity lacks, 
And as a woman who literally does not fit the mold of society, that didn't sit well with me. Um, so, you know, the history that's locked in our hair is why we take a stand against hair discrimination. Black women and black hair is mm. beautiful. So when others don't understand our hair or force us to flatten our chemically process or chemically process our hair, we no longer abide by these constraints. Others see it as just hair. To me, it's never hair. It's never just hair. You know, even the fact that I cover my hair, it holds so much significance as I'm honoring my crown underneath. You know, I cover it because it is beauty and there's more reasons, but you know, society would have you believe that you have to wear um, your hair a certain way for it to be deemed acceptable. But I'm here to say whether I choose to wear my hair in Afro styles, goddess locks, Bantu knots, or whether I choose to cover my hair, my hair, my business. And this event is all about minding our business and taking our power back and loving on ourselves. So well, I love that I get to do my part to create justice awareness around the beauty of our natural hair. Awesome. I think I feel a mic drop right there. Okay. Ooh, <laughs> Look, I say, I say, I say. Definitely. Simbaza? So um, let's get into the meat of this whole conversation. Uh, the okay. third conference of Curls and Convo. So there was a one, two, and a three. Now, this sounds so amazing and an awesome opportunity for people to celebrate growing and styling your hair naturally. Um, and in comparison to your previous years, tell us what viewers and participants can expect this year as opposed to the previous years. Absolutely. Um, so one thing I do want to say about the Natural Hair Summit, it's an event and a vibe of self-love and empowerment when it comes to um, like I said, the beauty of our natural hair, and also to educate the community because we all know that knowledge is power. So I do my due diligence every year to create this five-hour action-packed event that puts the audience in front of all of these licensed hair care professionals who have been in the business for 10 years plus. And um, the audience has access to these featured speakers to ask questions and to soak up gems and knowledge from these professionals. Um, and that's what makes it so unique is that normally they would have to go see all of these individual specialists and pay for all of these different services. Um, but what I do is I curate a platform to bring all of these professionals under one virtual roof to empower, inspire, and educate. So um, this event really brings us all together, you know, individuals from all over the country who are passionate about learning about their natural hair and gaining tips and overall knowledge. Um, for example, um, you can expect to hear subjects like how to care for your natural hair, how to combat natural hair discrimination in the workplace, alopecia, um, braiding styles. You know, sometimes we get these braiding styles, these styles, and they pull our hair tight. And so I have a speaker actually speaking on how to avoid those styles that pull our hair tight um, because it's really pulling out our hair. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, other topics that I felt like really was important to um, empower the community. Uh, we even have swag bags that we are giving away after each speaker speaks. Uh, we ask trivia questions that come directly from the speaker's presentation. So, you know, the audience is alert and listening because, one, that's what they came for. And, two, who doesn't like to win free stuff? So <laughs> it's a win-win situation. Um, also, I've worked really diligently to make this even uh, like multi-layered and multi-dimensional. So you will hear from a licensed nail technician. She'll be talking about natural nail care. She'll be doing some demos on the spot and teaching us about DIY nail art. You will also hear from this little girl, um, this beautiful girl named Brielle Belay. She was diagnosed with alopecia. Um, so you will hear about her journey and how she has redefined what beauty looks like for her. So um, you will experience these different threads interwoven into the fabric of what I consider the best way to put together a dynamically beautiful natural hair event. So I can't wait to present this event to everyone and give them all the feels. <laughs> nice. Well, we oh, definitely su uh, support you in this endeavor. If someone wants mm -hmm. to attend, this is a virtual experience. So tell us about mm -hmm. the virtual piece and how they can get in on this. Absolutely. So um, it's hosted through Zoom. Mm -hmm. And so, um, the virtual experience, so you just go to my website, which is www.designsbydij.com. That's designsbydij.com. And once you get to the website, um, you can click on the flyer, and it will take you directly to the screen to 
uh, purchase the tickets, which is only $10, you know, $10 to get this wealth of information from over 10 featured speakers. So I invite everybody near and far to the Natural Hair Summit, um, which is on October 19th this year. And um, also, if I can mention something else, um, I didn't mention it, but you can expect the three E's at this event, uh, empowerment, education, and entertainment. Uh, I, uh, you guys mentioned that I'm a poet. So we have a beautiful line of poets who will be um, doing pieces to really make that impact for the event. Because I really feel like poetry has the perfect way of putting that exclamation mark behind a sentiment. So we'll be having poets. Um, like I said, we'll be giving away our coveted swag bag, <laughs> uh, which is filled with all great Black-owned business products. Um, we'll be also, um, it's a celebration, you know? And I'll also be celebrating my fifth year anniversary of entrepreneurship at this year's Natural Hair Summit too. Oh, so congrats. yes, the men could come, the Black men, because oftentimes they think it's just for women and that's not the case. Uh, we invite the Black men, our Black men to come too, because we will have men on the panel discussion. Because um, Black men, you know, they go through things with their natural hair as well. So um, uh, if you're a hair care professional, also you're invited um, because, you know, to be surrounded by other professionals who may already, you know, you'll be able to collaborate with them and they may become your new business bestie. So you know, we just invite everybody. This event is to bring us all together, not to like separate anybody. Uh, Jenny, oh, we've been said it like under your your bundle you have natural hair too <laughs> that protects the style so everybody is welcome <laughs> so people like me have hope look just um, caring for your beard is a whole thing yeah. like the, the white man's beard you know <laughs> good point dude. good point it is i mean oh. keeping it moisture i mean look I, I live with a black man and a lot of work. it's all a lot of products for that beer. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you. Yeah. Well, we got some comments here. I think we'll go to the comments before yeah. we head over to the next one. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, so the healing session and empower. She's called Denise. Denise says, when and where is the conference? Well, you already told us when and where, but I don't mind you repeating it again. Sure, I would love to repeat it. Um, so it is on Saturday, October 19th at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. It will be hosted virtually on Zoom. So to grab your tickets, you just want to go over to my website, which is on that flyer that um, gentlemen are putting up, which is www.designsbydeej.com. That's D as in David, I-J.com. Once you get to the website, you'll see the flyer. And you just click on it, and you'll just be able to purchase your ticket right from there. Um, so you can also follow me across all social platforms at Design by Deej as well. Like if you have any questions, if you want to be included in the swag bags or want to learn about sponsorship, then um, that's definitely available too. So definitely connect with me. All right. Uh, so Tiffany Bird says, I'm for this conversation. This was said in the beginning where she's enjoying it and liking it. And she said, right, right. what God gave us is beautiful. That she's talking about our hair. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Spoken Soul Sessions, oh, he's, she's just giving you all the love. And she <laughs> can't wait. It's going to be epic. And guys, it's only $10. Most of these uh, conferences you go to, virtual conferences, are usually expensive. And, uh, yeah, this is one for the ages. I would love to join in and um and have that um, listen in, you know, with my hair and, uh, you know, we'll take that. <laughs> we don't discriminate. I just talked about that. Everybody is welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I, at first, I thought it was only a women, women only um, the summit, but when you uh, say that it's for men, hey, the more the merrier. And uh, like, mm -hmm. uh, I think we all have something to learn. I like the fact that you said it's not only for, um, talking about hair there's more empowerment and learning about other things as well appreciate you for for doing that um you took away the part where i was going to ask you about your social social media handles for our viewers and i think you're going to have to repeat it again no that's okay. that, because you just said follow me on my social handles we don't know what it is so <laughs> we got instagram we got tiktok we got you know mm -hmm. so many yeah. some of us still use facebook so <laughs> if you have facebook <laughs> so, okay let us know how we can follow you and uh, if uh, people want to reach out to you, you know, if you have supporters 
or you know people who may throw in a cash app or something like that you know sponsor you who knows who's out there who may be listening to this show or may come up later to listen to the show before you have your conference so let's go what you have for your socials okay all right so on all social platforms tiktok instagram yes facebook too um everything twitter i think they call it x now but everywhere so it's at designs by deej on all social platforms designs by dij which is the yachting yes by now short for Khadija. so designs by deej and um your second part of the question was oh if you want to sponsor or contribute in any form or format which is which i appreciate that first of all thank you um my cash app is dollar sign dj rose so d-i-j-r-o-s-e and um you can email me i think that's on the yeah that's on the flyer so my email is on there um so all ways to connect with me are there so i'm open to hear from you for sure awesome okay that's awesome hey will you be seeing will you be going to the essence festival i gotta throw this in you know essence festival they always have these things uh where they have booths and vendors to show out their stuff Hopefully, maybe we'll see you next year. Is that something that you're looking into? Maybe going in that direction? Definitely. Um, I wanted to go to the Essence Fest last year, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna make some things happen, and then maybe next year. But yes, I'm definitely I definitely have my eye on that. That's <laughs> love that. That'll we'll meet great. over there then. Okay. Yes. Yeah, All right. Oh, Sylvester, right. you're going. Hey, I'll never, I never miss it. I only missed last year because oh. of technical. Yeah, but otherwise, I'm usually there all the time. Okay. Yes. Nice. Now, on that, awesome. end, can you take us home? Awesome, awesome. Well, we appreciate you guys tapping in with us. Definitely glad to uplift and celebrate the culture in this way. I'm glad that she's including the art form of poetry. Um, it just, it's really going to be epic guys. So we definitely want to support the sister and tap in. We'll have those links posted. We'll get this audio episode posted in plenty of time for you guys to check it out. Um, let's see. Did we get another comment? Thank you. Denise says thank you. And I really want to, hey. it's you. only $10. It's only $10 and you get in to see how many hours is it going to be? Five hours, action packed, oh, entire time. Man, look, I'll take that anytime. That yeah, that that's a that's, cup of coffee. Yeah, yeah right there. <laughs> there you all go. right. Okay, so um, thank you, some Thank you all for having me. By the way, I, I got to yes, stop by Miss Khadija. <laughs> you are welcome here anytime. We appreciate you for uh, you know making time to come on the platform mm -hmm. we uh, celebrate you and did we get a, <laughs> one last one <laughs> it says peace and light and spoken soul says yeah only ten dollars okay shout out spoken soul sessions thank you for tapping in and the good brother ed we appreciate you as well Sambaza, any additional thoughts for the Good you know, um, <laughs> I, I'm really, really happy and enthused for what Hadija is doing. And um, I think what for what you've done and going into your third year of a virtual event, that's pretty, pretty awesome. Um, I think for the young ones out there who are coming up, they need to have such kind of ideas. And then whereby you feel so special about what you're doing. Man, that's that's awesome. I like the fact that you're confident in what you're doing and what you're selling to us is something that's epic. We need to keep learning more and more about our hair and be proud of it because that's a statement itself. And I like the the, the route you're taking. So bless up. Thank you. For sure. Thank definitely. You. Well said. Well said. Okay, guys, well, we're going to wrap it up. Um, thank you guys for the ones who tapped in real time. The replay is available and the audio will be up very soon. So hopefully we uh, you found today's conversation inspiring and enlightening. If, if Also, if you found it meaningful, we please consider sharing it with your friends and family. Our collective awareness and advocacy play a crucial role in creating positive change. Please stay tuned for more engaging content. And we look forward to continuing these important conversations. And we thank you for being part of our episode. So until next time.
and stick around, Khadija, so we can properly send you out. Take care, guys. Bye. At this time, we're going to go ahead and conclude the episode. We greatly appreciate you listening. We invite you to follow us on social media, on Instagram, it is Woke by Accident Podcast. On Twitter, it is Woke by. On Facebook, it is Woke by Accident Podcast. We also have the new website up, www.wokebyaccident.net. Please check us out. And also follow us on all of your favorite streaming platforms. And please leave a review and share feedback. You can also reach out by Gmail, wokebyaccident at gmail.com. And every time you listen, we appreciate it so much. Thank you for listening and take care. Oh,